that's not in my belt yet in the trade journeys. Um, first thing I'd like to talk about is the um, maybe somebody can give me an update on the um, trade housing and the Dalton project, the hundred million dollar project. Um, two years ago, you guys, of course, I spoke to you guys about um, making sure that we had full participation. We had full participation in this thirty percent of that one hundred million dollars staying here in the city of Trent. Um, I believe about the last council meeting, I spoke, and I think John Mark spoke on the matter again. And of course, I seen the article in the paper the other day, which showed, um, showed one worker, showed one guy that got trained. He's not even working in Trent, he's working in the North. But I would like to know an update on where we are with Trent and how we're doing. Also, read in the paper, and see one thing about developers, and I tried to explain this the last time I've been in the business for 18 years. I know how some of developers work. And quite terms of what somebody, other people want to believe, I've had it been fighting this fight for the past 18 years I've been in business through the Palmer administration. Trenton has seen over half a billion dollars in construction done right here in the city of Trenton over the past 20 years. A half a billion would be. That money comes in the front door and it goes out the back door. Never have an opportunity to recycle in this community. And when we talk about gangs and you know, there's no opportunities. The way you stop gangs is through education and opportunities. I know when I ran the streets, how I got it. An opportunity was presented to me and I took advantage of it. A lot of our kids right now have no opportunity and a lack of education. And I said this the last time I was here. The only involvement that this mayor has had with the Board of Education is trying to circumvent the rules by trying to acquire two board members. That's the only action I've known that he's had at the Trinity Board of Education. And as far as economic development, you know, we talked about Amazon coming here. He said he was going to send him a letter. All that stuff is a joke. He wouldn't even take his call. <laughs> but the reality of, and I don't mean to, to, to say this is funny, but the reality of, we've been doing this for three years, going on three years now. Doing this little dance about the mayor and how wrong he's been, and now we want to cut his salary. But the fact of the matter is, a recall started. This may be two years. That recall was started not because the mayor had done anything criminal. That recall was started because by then we had already went through eight directors, as far as the VA. We had already went through three law directors, three economic directors. We had already done all that. We had already spent $60,000 for a herd this day to make $1,800. I'm a businessman. That crap doesn't make any sense. We already put a sign over there in Calvary Park for $20,000. It had to be taken down. Where's the sign? That's my tax dollar pay for. I'd like to know where is my sign? Because see, this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about. We've been dancing around this subject for the past three years, and I've heard people say about the marriage family. You know, God bless the marriage family. But when I built my business here, when I built my house here to stay here, I thought about my family. You know that? I thought about my family. And I said, Trinity would be a great opportunity to live and work here. But when I see New Jersey and Trenton having the highest taxes in New Jersey, yes. pay close to $16,000 just for my house. Throw in the other 20 more properties out of So every time we sit here and talk about a tax increase, to pay for what? The Obama bus? <laughs> I support Obama. And I think the bus is a great idea. But when Anthony Roberts, a man that Judge Feinberg says should be be looking at a contract, Get the opportunity to run a committee. To get the opportunity to write checks. On the taxpayers' money. This stuff is crazy. And we've been dancing around this whole while. So if we start looking at next year and all the stuff that the mayor has done, I need to think we need to start looking at all the stuff that you guys have done. Because a lot of the stuff you guys like. So we can reduce the salary, we can do whatever we want. But the fact of the matter is we've been dancing around this for about three years old. And when you talk about the kids out in the street, you know, there was a program that I was part of called the Moet Program. The Moet Program is specifically set up to help ex-offenders get jobs. Specifically set up for that. That program at home. When the mayor first started here, he had five grant rights. How many grants were written? How many grants were written? We had five grant rights. How many, how many did we get? None. None? More of my money. You know, Lois makes some great suggestions about the 
our kids drop out of school. USTAT was set up to attract them. That's what that was for. USTAT is still not the, the TMAC program. County ready to take it. You know, we talk about all this shooting and gang violence and stuff that's going on on the street. But the fact of the matter, when you have good government and it's about the people, stuff happens, things get done. Other cities are moving forward. North is moving forward, even though they have their problems. Canada, even though they have their problems, at least they're moving forward. Trenton has done 20, 100 yards back and step in the wrong direction. And this is under your watch. So you can fault the man for whatever he's done, but the fact of the matter, like I said, that recall was started two years ago. It had nothing to do with no criminal charges. It had more to do with his incompetence, his inability to move the city forward. And I go on the record, I supported that recall 120%. And if they was to do it again tomorrow, I'll support it again. Because it was the right thing to do. I don't want to hear all this stuff about how could you do that to a brother? How could you do that to a black man? What? Screw that. When you're wrong, you're wrong. That's a fact. When you're wrong, you're wrong. It got nothing to do with skin color. That's right. Mr. Saunders. I mean, this, I mean, we've been doing this for three years now. This is starting to get ridiculous. Nothing has moved forward. And I'd really like to know. What's going on with the Trenton Island Authority program? I really do. Because I spoke about that two years ago. You know, somebody else can do the math, but 30% of 100,000 is a lot of money. And it's a great opportunity to change some people's lives. A job can change a life if given the right opportunity. I've seen that happen through the Moet program. These had graduations every six months. And I used to see the faces of these graduates reunited with their kids and reunited with their family just behind, behind a job. A hundred million dollar project going on. We've had half a billion dollars worth of development here in the city. 